Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to install programs on your Casio FX CG50 gra graphics calculator. For this, you will need this cable, used to connect the calculator to a computer. Begin by plugging this end, the smaller end, into the top of the calculator, like so. Plug the other end into your computer. This should bring up a message that looks like this. Click F1. This basically sets up your calculator as a big USB stick, so you can access its internal storage. At this point on your computer, you can now open the calculator's drive, like so. The type of program we're going to install now are .g3a files. Uh, these in, these are, are the majority of games and also offer a number of useful tools. Um, for my example, I'm going to be using the Casio default install add-ins. If you don't, if you are missing any of these, I highly recommend you add, uh, install them as soon as you can. They are 3D graphs for graphing things in 3D, Physium, which provides a in a uh, periodic table and the list of uh, uh, scientific um, constants. Geometry mode, which is for plotting geometrical shapes. Picture plots, which is for pl plotting graphs over images. Conversion, which is making unit conversions. And probably sim probability simulator, which is for simulating random events such as time crosses. This is the one I'm missing and the one I'll be demoing and installing now. Other programs can be downloaded from websites such as SeamTech, which I'll go over, go over at the end of the video. So, on the Casio website, which I'll link to in the description, and for any other um, add-in that you're installing, you need to, of course, download it. Once this is done, you may need to unzip some files. So just open... Uh, the file, um, the zip file in your st standard file editor and you're looking for a dot for some dot g3a files in this case they're in this folder and prob prob sim all you do is drag it or copy it into your calculator's memory control c control v Once this is done, you should see that it's appeared uh, in the, the calculator's main memory. This is very important. Before you unplug the calculator from your computer, you must eject it properly. Do this on Windows, right click the drive, and select eject. You may receive an error message, just click OK. Back on the calculator, you may need to click uh, Execute, and then you can just click Exit, and click Menu to go back onto the main menu. You should now find that your new program is installed. So, what other programs can you install? Well, the best place to get them from is SeamTac, and to view them all, you can, from their main page, you can click Downloads, select By Category, and then Casio Prism FXCG Programs and Games. Casio Prism refers to the, the, the line of calculators um, that the CG50 is part of. Other members are the CG10 and the CG20, uh, which are older. There are many programs with some for the CG10 and CG20, um, and some of these work on the CG50, but not all of them. Therefore, you may it may take some trial and error before you find programmers that function. Um, popular programs include Tetrism, 
which offers Tetris uh, on the calculator. Uh, for example, quick demo, like so. Um, Prezoop, which is a Game Boy Color emulator, meaning that you can play Game Boy games and Game Boy Advanced, uh, and sorry, Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games. Um, for this, you do need the game's ROM files, and I should note that downloading these from the internet is illegal. There are, are legal ways of obtaining them, and I'll leave the ob obtainment of them up, up to you. But, as you can see, Zelda on my calculator. Um, and there are many other good programs, games, and yeah, as I said, not all of them will work. For example, CG Doom, sadly, does not work on the CG50. You cannot play Doom on your CG50. Um, but many of them do. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.